I'm Kenson Henderson, Chief Empowerment Officer at Live With Life. I'm here with my good friend, Andrew Cooks, um, with Empowerment, Faith Focus Forward. And so we're here today to uh, just bring um, empowerment to those who are looking to move forward in their, their goals, their visions, everything they're inspiring to do, we want to empower you just to do that. And so today I, I really want to speak, speak to you about making power positive impactful decisions so ppid powerful positive impactful decisions so what that is is make decisions that will count towards moving you towards your goals towards your vision you know many times every day we make 30,000 over 30,000 decisions each day that we wake up now that's a lot and so each decision that we make counts towards doing something. And I, I want to empower you to, to make sure that you're making the right decisions so that way you have positive results. See, many times we have made decisions uh, that weren't so good and so good that it cost us something. Uh, what did it cost us? It cost us sleep. It cost us time that we, we can never get back. It cost us uh, relationships. It's cost us um, you know, jobs, it's cost us so many different things that may not have been the best uh, things for us, but it all started with a decision. And so, I, I, again, I just want to encourage you to make every decision that you have count. So I have to ask you the question, I'm being curious, but why do we sometimes make wrong decisions? I just want you to think about that. What, why do we make sometimes why do we sometimes make the wrong decisions? Okay. And so now as you thought about that, you were probably saying, I don't know, I just made a decision. I, I just I just had to make a decision and it turns out it was the wrong decision. Yeah. So what we have to do to make sure we make the right decisions is think about what is by me making that decision, who is it gonna impact? Is it just me it's gonna impact? Is it gonna be my, my kids or my family who's gonna be impacted? Who else is gonna be impacted by, our, by the decisions that we make? Because once you bring that into together, then you'll be able to make a, a better, wiser decision. Now, I need you to think about why is it so important to make the right decision? And again, it's going to go back to, is it just me? Is it others involved that's a part of or who's going to reap the benefits of me making a certain decision? Now, say you have a goal that you're trying to reach and you have to make a decision on whether or not, let's say, if it's regarding, you know, today's thing is about, you know, staying fit, committing to be fit. Now, if you wake up in the morning and you're saying, oh, I'm too tired, I'm just going to lay in a bed. We already know your commitment to being fit is, is going to lessen because you didn't get up. Now, with that decision comes the next day you're trying it again, and the next day you're going to try it again, but then each time you're going to have excuses. And excuses come from, I say the word try, T-R-Y. Very familiar with this word, try. Try leaves an open way for you to make excuses. I will try to get up. I will try to do this the next time. I want you to get rid of the word try and put in the word I will. If you put in the word I will, you're committing yourself to that activity. You're committing yourself to that goal. And I guarantee you, once you made that commitment, you're going to do it. So I just wanna encourage you to have the right thinking so that you can have the right results. Because many times, we have some stinking thinking. And with stinking thinking comes, how does that happen? You say, it comes from bad experiences. It comes from other people's experiences. Oh, I seen somebody do that and it didn't turn out well for them. Oh, I seen they tried to open that business, but it, 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 they, it didn't work out well, it failed. Well, that's their experience, not yours. So make sure you still take the jump, especially if you're being led to take the jump. 
That's all a part of putting your faith into action. It's not just to say uh, faith is a substance of things hoped for, but it's now it's putting your faith into works. So you got to work that thing. It's okay if it didn't work out the first time, but you know you're still supposed to.